back welcome back to another lesson on Fourier series question so complementing my last video on um which i did on even and odd function we are going to take this example so the question says find the Fourier sine series to represent the function x square now okay you'll be saying oh on our last video i used x square to represent an even function and i said even function only contain cosine terms only but in this case now they're asking me to find the sine terms relating to x square and you will know that on our last video i use x square as an example for even function now i want you to know that x square can also be assumed to be an odd function how can x square be assumed to be an odd function for example if i put uh, remember odd function says minus um function of minus x that's negative function of minus x is equal to function of x right this is the rule this is the um, condition for odd functions or you can put it the other way function of minus x is equal to minus f minus function of fx so uh, x squared can be assumed to be an odd function how because when i put minus 2 here and assume there is no bracket putting minus 2 here that's minus 4 right and putting 2 here and multiplying it by minus sign gives me minus 4 so fx so x squared can be assumed to be an odd function so now if x squared is assumed to be an odd function that means we can use the Fourier series for odd function and if you can remember on our last video we said that Fourier series for odd function only contain sine terms only so the Fourier series for odd function can be written as um, exponential uh, summation of n, n n equal to 1 to infinity of bn sine n x so this is a simple formula for Fourier sine series of a function of x so now we're going to be making use of this formula to um you know get our Fourier series question so now first we need to find bn right if you can remember bn for odd function or for sine series which since we assume to be an odd function so bn is equal to 1 over pi 2 integral comes from 0 to pi um of function of x sine n x so this can also be written as 2 over pi integral comes from 0 to pi function of x sine n x so um we solve this right so since my fx is x square right so we put it here so this is 2 over pi can i come from 0 to pi x square sine nx right so let's solve so the first thing we do we use our normal integration by parts formula right so my normal integration by part formula says um u dv that's integral u dv is uv minus v du so in this case now you can remember your sequential for um denoting u for integration by part my arithmetic comes before what my trigonomet my trigonometric right so my arithmetic is x square and my trigonometric is sine nx so um u goes to sine u goes to x square and my dv goes to sine nx you can use it the other way around if you actually get your answer that's fine so um you you x square so differentiating this that's 2x dx and integrating the that's v is equal to sine minus cos nx over n right then we have we put it back to the integration from the integration by part formula which says uv that's uv that's minus x square cos nx divided by n minus integral v my v which is minus cos nx over n du which is 2x dx right so um we take the constant to the back of the integral sign so this is 2 and this is n they go back so this is minus 2 over n integral and this is minus times minus so it's plus right so we have we're left with x cos nx this is x and this is cos nx taking this to the back of the integral sign and changing my sign multiplying through so that's that's what it gives me so this is minus x square cos nx over n so um we also integrate it again integrate it again then we apply our limit so integrating x cos nx will be left will be having if you're using your normal integration by part formula this is my u and this is my dv so my u is x and my dv is cos nx right right so um integrating my differentiating my u does this is du dx right remember x differentiating, differentiating x is one and we'll be having one dx which is the same thing as dx so um integrating this as v equals sine nx over n so putting it in the integration by part formula so this is uv which is x sine nx over n minus v du my v which is sine nx over n 
du which is the x right so taking one over x to the back of the integral sign so i'm left with um i'm left with minus one over n sine nx dx right of x sine nx over n so we can integrate this now because this is a simple integration remember this is sine nx so remember this is a simple integration so we now will not be having one over n minus cos nx over n right integrating sine nx is minus cos nx over n then this is x sine nx over n so um simplifying this this is x right this is x sine nx over n plus cos nx over n square right so we put it back remember we integrated with we, we integrated all this all this we, this this value is what we got when we integrated this right so we put it back here so this is minus x square cos nx over n plus 2 over n integral coming from x that's integral x sine nx over n plus cos nx over n square those in my bracket right so what do we have here um what do we do right here now is to apply my limit right so multiplying through by 2 else over n so this is minus x square cos nx over n plus 2x sine nx over n square plus cos that's 2 cos nx over n to the power 3 so applying my limits my limit says from 0 to pi remember all this from was from when we integrate from when we integrated it's 0 to pi of x square sine nx dx do not forget so we're applying our limit from 0 to pi right so putting pi here now so if i put pi here this is minus pi square right if i put if i put pi here this is cos n pi and cos n pi it will give me a, a value a, a good value like give me minus one that's depending on um, the value of n so i can leave it i can decide not to calculate the value so now let's let's just substitute what we have but you know that when i put sine n pi every value of sine sine pi that's sine 180 and despite the value of n, sine 180 is always 0. So I'll assume this is 0. I put cos n pi here, so I'm left with cos still cos n pi, right? So I'll just add, um, add the two together. So this is minus pi square cos n pi over n plus 2 cos n pi over n raised to power 3. Now this is minus, so I put my, I, I, I check for my 0. So I put zero here, that's cos zero, and cos zero is always one. If I put zero here, which is zero, so this makes it this zero. If I put zero here, sine zero is always zero, and which makes all this zero. If I put zero here, and this is cos zero, and cos zero is one. So this is this. I'm left with two over n raised to the power three. Right. So this this gives me minus pi square cos n pi over n plus two cos n pi over n minus 3 minus 2 over n minus 3 right so i can simplify this so simplifying this or taking the factor of factoring out this uh, i'm left with minus pi cos i'm left with minus pi cos n pi over n right plus 2 over n is power 3 open bracket cos n pi minus 1 right so do not forget that all this is multiplied by 2 over 3. Remember our initial question says 2 over 2 over sorry 2 over pi is going to come from 0 to pi x square sine nx dx. So we put our 2 over 3 here or multiplying all this. Right. So we can multiply 2 by 2 over 3. Multiplying 2, 2 by 2 over 3. This pi will cancel this 1 pi. So I'm left with 2 minus 2 pi cos n pi over n. 2 over 3 times this so this is 4 over pi n raised to power 3 cos n pi minus 1 right you see the way this makes it made made easier for this you see the way this um this was made easier for us due to the last video we did on other new function in which we just assume okay since it's sine terms going to form sine, form sine terms we just apply the first series for sine terms instead of us needing to calculate for a naught and a n and so on and so forth which is our time so um so now let's simplify this now there's a, there's a rule that says cos cos um there's a rule that says cos n pi is equal to minus pi raised to power n now this is just like an, 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 an another way of writing cos n pi so um you can check it if it's correct if i put um two here two times pi that's 
cost 360 will actually give me the same value as when I put 2 here and 2 there is that's 1 so cost 360 is 1 so this is just the best way for remembering um, values of cost n pi in which n, n can be 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 6 so this is like just like say cost n times 180 so, so replacing this with this this is minus 2 pi raised to power n divided by n plus 4 divided by 4 n raised to power 3 for open bracket minus 1 raised to power n minus 1 so I just replace this with this right here. So um, so um, I don't need to see any further simplification that we can do is to put my values of n. Remember, this is my b n, right? So it's put my values of n. So now I'm going to be as I'm going to be inserting values of n so that I can easily get my series. So if I I'll consider let n be equal let n be equal to one, two, three, and so on and so forth to get my series. So um, so now let's 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 do that. So um, we're still on the verge of finding my values of this. So now let's let's check. So now when n is equal to one, what are we going to get when n equals to one? Let's put when n equals to one here. Let when n equals to one. So b n is equal to um, b as b one, right? B one. So when n equals to one, so we're left with minus two pi over here plus four over pi with one is power three, right? And uh, into the um, open brackets, might be left with one here because when it goes one, sorry, be left with minus one here, we'll also be left with minus one here because minus one is power one, that same thing as minus one, so we'll be left with minus one here, minus one, right? So this is two pi plus four over pi, right? And this is minus one times minus one, that's minus two, so this is um, minus that this, so this is two pi minus eight over pi. So um simplifying this this so simplifying this um this that's taking the LCM of this or just factoring out two over pi this is two over pi open brackets um let's say pi square minus four yeah factoring out so this is what gives me so this gives me two over pi open bracket pi square minus four so um that is for b one that's when n equal to one Let's check for b2 when n equal to 2. Putting n equal to 2 here, this is minus 2 pi over 2, right? Plus 4 over pi, that's 2 raised to the power 3. When n equal to 2 here, that's 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, so this gives me 0. So this could cancel this, so this gives me minus pi. So when n equal to 2, b, that's when n equal to 2, we have minus pi. When n equal to 3, that's b3. Um, That's 2 pi. When minus 1 raised to the power 3, that's minus 1, right? This is minus one divided by my but divided by three plus four over pi that's three is power three right then uh, minus one is power minus one is power three that's minus one times times minus one so um what does this give me again so um solving this so what does this give me um Simplifying this, so this gives me minus 2 pi times this, that's 2 pi over minus 3. Sorry, 2 pi over 3, sorry, not minus 3. 2 pi over 3 plus minus this minus, minus 2 times 4, that's minus 8 over pi raised power 3, right? So, um, how can we simplify this? So, can, we can simplify this simplify this by um, taking 2 over 3 to the, um, that's taking 2 over 3, or just taking 2 pi out. So, I take 2 pi out, so this is 2 pi, open bracket um 1 over 3 pi square right 1 over 3 pi square and minus 8 sorry minus 4 divided by pi that's divided by th 3 raised power 3 that's factoring this out right so when i factor this out this is what i have so um we simplified this further so 3 raised power 3 that's 27 right so this is 2 pi in bracket pi square over 3 minus 4 over 27 right taking the same of 27 so this is 27 um, 27 this that's 9 that's 9 pi square minus 4 over 2 pi right so um we can actually stop here so um now this goes on and on and on you can choose to calculate for b4 and so on and so forth so now let's put this in our series remember for us it says fx is equal to summation sign from n equal to 1 for to infinity for bn um, sign nx now since we've calculated values of bn for 1 2 and 3 we just need to just put it here and multiply them by their sign 
function. So applying the, uh, your Fourier series um, formula, so we'll be, we'll be having when b is equal to one, b well, when b is equal to one, we had it to be this, right? So this is two um, pi pi square minus four sine nx plus when b is equal to two, b is equal to we had it to be minus pi. So this is minus pi sine. Remember when n is equal to one, right? So with this one here, minus pi sine two x, right? Plus when um, b is equal to three, we had two pi over nine, two pi blah 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 so we we'll just put it here so this is 2 pi 2 over pi right open bracket 9 pi square minus 4 over 27 sine 3x right so um having got that i think this is the answer to the sine function or the sine series for x squared because it's already it's only having only sine series so this is the Fourier series expansion so thank you guys for watching and please and please do so well to hit the subscribe button and the like button and we go on our next video we go on to um we're supposed to see how to solve now in now in most cases we have been solving for us that come from pi to minus pi so we have not actually known how to solve for us when we are giving actual values like two three four so um on our next video i'm going to treat an example on how you can solve for us when you are giving periodic function for l l can be any value so um see you guys on the next video Peace.